What is up DTube, YouTube, Steam Blockchain? I'm gonna post this on all those platforms. So today I wanna talk a little bit about, so I saw a couple of new videos from some, some tech YouTubers that is highly respected that has been talking a little bit about Apple and if their latest devices sort of is getting worse and especially with the laptops, the keyboard. The keyboard has been a big thing for many, many years. It's been very petty that Apple keyboards, at least in my personal experience, they haven't really been as good quality as they should. I mean, they're they're sort of good. And I, I even bought the, um, the external keyboard that works with batteries. Sure, they are sort of nice. I don't care about this movement to um, how long time it takes to move your fingers to the next keys for me that's that's not a big thing but and they've been working for me but usually they use work maybe maybe a year and, and then they eventually some keys break same with my macbook pro the keys tend to sort of break eventually one or two keys and sure i don't clean the macbook pro keyboard a daily maybe i should but uh, it's like, you sort of feel like, yeah, they could have a little bit higher quality. So let's talk a little bit about this. Apple MacBook Pros, are they overpriced, overrated? Let's, uh, let's look at this. Okay, so even if they, my personal experience is because Apple creates so great software, at least with the, with the, the laptops, oh my God. Uh, just because it's so great software, even if the hardware is, is maybe 20% worse, maybe compared to in the past. It still is so good. Wow, it's so good. It still is so amazingly great experience. My personal experience with, I have owned three MacBooks, MacBooks, laptops, Apple laptops. The first one, I bought 2013, it was from 2012, or this was my second one. I bought it 2013, it was it was one 17 inch from 2010, and it sort of worked for me up to 2017, maybe even 2018. That's a long time. That's around seven, eight years. And it was pretty well kept from 2013 and 2010, that should be said, but that you can cram in that many years. And then I had another one that I bought 2012. It also worked up to 2018. And uh, and that's impressive. And then I bought a third one, 2016. It was an early 2050 model. So around a year old when I bought it. And it was for $1,500. And I'm still using it today, 2019. That is around four years, four years and I can say that the software is still amazing. The software is amazing, two keys have broken and the battery has been sort of drained. So I, I always have to keep the charger in, but the display is amazing. The software experience, still no lag, still no problems. Can still download a lot of apps and install it. The software is just amazing. The Apple is just so amazing with the, with the software and the experience. I bought in 2016, I should also say this, I bought a gaming laptop for $3,500. It broke down, like the windows, the windows stopped working. So I had to sort of find windows in another way and reinstall and it was windows 10 and it was slow. I'm not sure why it was slow, but it's almost, I think it was something with the hardware and the, and the windows software that wasn't that great and and I tried Windows 10 in the past also it has never worked great for me because there's always some hardware bug or problem or some hardware that needs to be updated or some software update from Windows that is annoying I have never really got Windows to work great for me sure Windows XP worked great Windows 7 also worked amazing but now if you use Windows 7 you're gonna miss out on so many probably updates and stuff like that. So if I could use Windows 7 EC, I would probably do it. I don't like the UI design in the Windows 
and it's just this i'd rather just want to have an experience that just works amazing for three to four years so let's look at this okay so i would say around fifteen hundred dollars that is that is around the price for like a decent macbook that sort of lasts three to four years and then you have to remember that like this is like this is just from my experience but fifteen hundred dollars for three to four years that's pretty impressive that is pretty impressive i would say because if you if you want to have your like smartphones then it's as right now it's around one thousand dollars and it's like two years two years expected but laptops tend to last a bit longer and uh, that's just my personal experience so i would say it's it's not really that overrated especially when especially if a person is using the device to be creative and to uh, to create stuff that produce maybe some income maybe from youtube maybe from some other social media thing or whatever if it's just producing a little bit of income the device will pay for itself is it, it, because it's like fifteen hundred dollars for four years i mean that i wouldn't really say that that is that that is like i think like the, uh, people are investing a lot of stuff and investing in many ways in technology to be able to do a better job I would say in the modern age it's it's worth it because the infrastructure is sort of in place so you can sort of get the value back and uh, so I would say it definitely is not that overrated but that is mainly because I used to look at it from the whole the whole inclusive experience for me it's so important that the whole general experience feels very inclusive that it just works and I never really got that with Windows. I always felt if something is going to stop work here, there is no way to fix that. Because every time, or not every time, but most times when I try to fix something on Windows, it doesn't work. Or I have to open up the control alt delete, open up the control panel, the activity manager, see what is going on. Because there is usually something that is not really working that great. And I'm so tired at problem solving on Windows. Windows is still amazing if a person plays games. I will use Windows. I will use Windows all day long. And same probably with virtual reality. I'm probably going to use Windows for that. But I want a Windows that works better. Way better. If, if, if the software is super lightweight, no gimmick stuff, you decide exactly what should be installed. And it's more transparent about all the stuff that is going on in the background. And it's more transparent so you can turn off the updates if you want. I mean, my experience with the, with the MacBook Pro, and I may get the MacBook Air, is I never see something about updates. Something that tries to get inside of my face and force me to upgrade. I never get that. I never get that on a MacBook. It's almost never something is telling me that I have to upgrade, right? So it's like, yeah, I really, I'm so satisfied with my Apple experience. I still never though have used an iPhone in terms of as a daily driver because on phones, I value mobility more. I value freedom more. While on the desktop sort of experience, I, you know, I know it's not going to be that mobile. I'm not going to have to share super much around all the time. With phones, I always have to maybe share some files between different devices. Then you want open systems. Mm, but in terms of use the stable thing that just works, uh, MacBook Pros, I would say they're so much worth it. So, so much worth it. A person only has to find a little bit of creative work, some side value that maybe comes in. And then it's like, you can have this experience of like an amazing machine. And even if you look at it from like the low side, let's say, let's say it just works one year. And then you have to buy a new device because something breaks. I would say it's still worth it because the experience, 
the experience of one year of just perfection. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Uh, <laughs> that is so nice, to be honest. It's so I would say maybe I am talking, uh, talking or, or saying too much good. Uh, but I would say they have earned it. They have earned it. They have so earned it. And also that Apple has so much value that they they they, they have they have stored up so much so much value from the little bit of extra price that they're taking. And eventually a lot of that is gonna go into research and development. So when Apple feels or sort of sees something is declining, they can go deep into research and development and create even better devices. They, they're going to fix the keyboard eventually. They're probably going to fix the sharing eventually. So it is better. Imagine, for example, maybe in the future, if it's more like super open source and you can have your own sort of apps, you can sort of create your own stuff, kind of like iPhones in 2009 with Cydia and a lot of that stuff that went on. Ah, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. So they're worth it. They are worth it so, so much. Just imagine a couple of years ago, there was no infrastructure to sort of talk to people or like big value systems. And then people just bought very expensive devices that you didn't really get that much return on, but now you can get so much return on, on these devices in value, especially if a person is increasing their knowledge and always using devices, like using all the features on new devices, because most people are just using a few features, but there are a lot of great stuff a person can use on their new device that is going to give them an edge. Maybe they're doing a little bit of sharper videos. Maybe it has a little bit better audio. Maybe it makes it so you can do stuff a little bit faster. All this adds up, all this adds up and people can see the final result and they can see that, yeah, it sort of is improving. It sort of is getting better. So I would say it's so, so worth it, uh, especially for creative people, especially for creative people. Yes, actually for creative people, using both is even better, right? But it's going towards just better and better experience. And that is kind of cool to see. So yeah, that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. So to make it clear, yes, I think it's worth it. I, I don't think they are overvalued because because you're getting so much these days with the internet. The whole infrastructure, apps is always getting better. And usually you see comments that most people would actually buy an Apple computer or an Apple phone if they could afford it. So it's like most people would want that uh, if they could. And uh, same as I think a lot of Windows people or a lot of other devices and stuff like that, they they would want a better Windows. They would want a better experience with that. And, and maybe in the future, we're going to get it. I mean, see with Android, Android is like better than Windows, right? So the customer eventually wins, I would say, because the customer eventually decides uh, where they spend their time and energy and attention. And then eventually companies look at that. And then they, and if you give feedback, eventually you see stuff is getting better, right? And that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's what I want to talk a little bit about. Have a great day, DTube, Steam Blockchain, and YouTube. Bye-bye.